Our motoring tip of the week concerns an opportune time to check for wear and tear. Now in Canada, we're given two big opportunities per year, and that's wheel tire changeover season in the fall, putting your winter tires on, taking them off in the spring. And usually when the vehicle's in, before we take the wheels off, while we've still got the wheel and tire on, it gives us some leverage on the front suspension. It's a good idea to grab the wheel and tire, give it a shake, and in the case of this car, it revealed some big time play in the right front suspension. It's got a lower ball joint gone. Now, it's not always this obvious. As a matter of fact, this one is probably as bad as you ever see it before it comes in on a tow truck, and you don't want it to get to that point. If that ball joint separates, It'll pull the CV shaft out of the transmission, the suspension collapses, you've got some body damage, toe in, major consequential damage other than just your bad ball joint, which started the whole deal. So it's important to check this periodically and oftentimes the driver will tell you there was no noise, they didn't hear any banging, uh, they didn't know saying in terms of tire wear, this car had extreme tire wear, but that's not always the case. Now, this lower ball joint is what we call a follower ball joint. It's not a load carrying ball joint. Depends on the type of suspension you're talking about and the method of testing them is very different. So it's definitely a job for a mechanic. On a load carrying ball joint, you've got to lift the vehicle by the control arm to reveal the play. On light duty vehicles, if you put, lifted it by the control arm, uh, you'll damage the control arms on many vehicles. This one is just lifted by the body and supported by safety stands. Now, on a lot of these light duty vehicles, modern vehicles, the ball joint, which is bad in this car, is part and parcel of the lower control arm. That's the case here, $250 lower control arm with the ball joint. It's gotta be installed and alignment done afterwards. There's a stamped steel upper arm from a Honda car. They do the same thing. Ball joint is part of the control arm. When you have a bad ball joint, you're changing the whole control arm. That's just the way it is. Now, if your vehicle pulls to one side or the other, steering wheel's way off center when you're going down the road, you've got clunks, bangs, or extreme tire wear. Those are all things that could twig you to the fact that you could have something like this gone, and you wanna pay attention to that. But there's lots of cases where the car comes in with none of those symptoms, but it's got a really bad part. So that's where it's important to take advantage of these opportunities to do your inspection and make sure you don't have some dangerously worn parts. Definitely a job for a mechanic. Definitely something you need to do at least yearly. If you're living on a secondary road or cranking some really high miles on your car, a couple of times a year doesn't hurt. That's your motoring tip of the week.